guys to look. It's 2012 Toreg, Volkswagen Toreg. Uh, you only need a couple special tools. This one here, it's about 25 bucks. Get that on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. You need this to turn the crank over. All right. I don't see a workaround with this one. All right. All right. The next tool, you need a six millimeter Allen head key. This isn't even a special tool. I mean, you should have one of these. You'll see where to use this in a little bit. And last, you're going to need this guy. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I made this so I can make it work, but that's all you're going to need to get this done. Let's get to it. Yeah, just to get started, you pop this off and you pop the cover off. No need, no need to take this off. The only other thing you're going to need to take off is this hose right here. It pops right off. I'll show you that. Anyways, look, this is going to take you an hour at the most even taking your time, making sure you have everything right. Let's get to it. All right, guys, do this job. Here's what you do. You take this, slide it forward. Like, you gotta say, boop, when you take it off. That's it. Do that, now let's get into it. So you're using your very, your super special tool, and you turn the crank around, and you go ahead and, I, it doesn't. So that little sticker will have a line in the middle of it. I went ahead and put a white paint, a, uh, no, not a white, I went ahead and put a yellow paint marker right there, just so it's easier to see. I then went and put a, a mark on the front of the block, and right below that mark I made, there was a raised vertical portion that the line on the balancer lines up with. And just remember that once you have that lined up and you can see the hole in the bottom, and then you can see the hole through the valve cover, that little nub area, you're gonna be just fine. All right, so look, you come under the car and you shine up and then, whoop, there it is right up there. Let's get it in focus. That's our guy right there. That's a 10 millimeter triple square right there. Pow! So after you pull your plug out, you gotta look up here at your hole and you'll see a little kind of, uh, there's a little dim, a little dimple inside of there. All right, so check it out. You're gonna have this piece here. Go ahead and you know, take the clamps off, take that off. And you come in here and check this out. Right here, man. This little guy right here, little guy. Let's go ahead and get that guy. We're gonna take that out. All right, and then pow, look, check it out. Get that hose out of the way, and boop. You got that plug right there. It's a T30, let's pop it out. Go ahead and rotate it just a little bit. Up. And we got that groove, we got that notched area right there in the center. Now let's put a pin in it. All right, so you got that plug out. Use a six millimeter Allen head to go ahead and stick in there to just kind of guarantee that it's not going to go anywhere. But before you go any further, go back down underneath, look at the the bottom plug area and look at that little dimple. If when you pull the pop, top one, if you have to rotate it some more to get the six millimeter Allen head in there, that means the bottom's gonna move too. That means it's not gonna be lined up right. So what that usually means is, oh, I just have to go one full revolution around again to make sure the cam and crank are lined up correctly. So just remember that, that when you go to go, before you go any further, make sure you have the six millimeter Allen head lined up through that top valve cover plug and that you can still see the dimple through the bottom of the engine. And so I went ahead and I marked this, uh, the fuel pump sprocket, the little mark right here, mark this. But the important thing is I made this little homemade tool. All right, guys, this is the part where you're gonna need to hopefully not have to make a tool but can go ahead and just buy the the one that's in the link in the description um you'll see that you're going to go to slide it in and these two uh little legs here the correct tool is lo it's a lot cleaner looking but it slides on the end of the sprocket and then into two divots uh behind it that are going to help lock it in place 
that's where you're gonna need this set. When you have this in and you have that six millimeter Allen head in and you look underneath and you see that you have that divot uh, on the bottom side of the block, dude, you're A-OK, -okay, you're ready to get this thing done. So, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hope that it holds and we're gonna loosen this up. That loosens up. We're gonna take the tension off of this. We're gonna slide our belt off. With the belt off, we'll go ahead and put our new tensioner on, throw the belt, throw the new belt on. We're also gonna replace this little guy. Put our new little roly poly in here. Roly poly. The Griffzilla special torque spec. Oh, hold on. Whoop, that's tight. Get <laughs> yeah, our tooth belt on. Let's go ahead and put on our Go ahead and get your new tensioner. New ten tensioner. Oh, I lost it. Go ahead and get your little clip chip junior. Remember those? I'm dating myself. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so this little slot over here, the little keyway, you can go in that little keyway hole right under there. And you can spin this bad boy around, all right? I'm gonna position this so it's gonna have some slack on it, man. When you go to put it on, you're gonna to wanna to have it in this position. Have that down, make sure you have that little, that little hook shoved in that little hole back there. So I slid it on, put the bolt in. You could try putting this on first and putting the belt over it. That may work. If you don't want it to look like this, it means it looks like the picture. 
That's the easy way to do this. All right, so the instructions say to go ahead and go counterclockwise with this to about one o'clock and then come back and put it at three o'clock. Well, look, by the time I got to three o'clock, this felt way too tight. If I went any further, I was gonna break it. So I went ahead and left it at the three o'clock position, fired right up, worked just fine. All right, so here's the actual instructions. Uh, I'm just saying you gotta go to one o'clock and then I want you to go back and come back to three o'clock. And I think we just overcomplicated it. And I thought, you know what? Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Let it roll. All right, get this to about three o'clock. I'm gonna tighten this down to the torque spec. Hey, I haven't seen this video anywhere else, so if it helped you out, please like, subscribe, share the channel. And remember, just because it says you need a special tool, doesn't mean you need a special tool. It means you just gotta know how the system operates. Once you know how it operates, you can make things happen. I'll see you next time. Yeah, that's what I said.